So you're a new mom, you want to breastfeed, you're thinking about pumping, and you're trying to decide between the Willow Go and the OB Stripe. If that's you, then this video is definitely for you. I've tried them both for about two months now. I'm really excited to share my thoughts with you. Hi guys, my name is Deidre. I'm a new mom out of Michigan. This is my second baby. I am an exclusive breastfeeder. I breastfeed my son all day and night. I pump three times a day, usually morning, lunch, and dinner. little one to nap let's see how much we can make it through this okay so this video is sponsored by one natural way they sent me the willow go and the lb stride to try out for a few months so one natural way is an insurance company whose motto is to help moms provide breast milk to their babies through products education and services they offer lactation consultants you can buy different pumps ranging from lb spectra Medela, free me baby blue lantano willow amita dr brown like if you want to pump one natural way probably has it. They also have Milk Zoom, which offers parts for your breast pumps as well. They also offer maternity compression stockings, pregnancy support bands. So it's really easy to see if you qualify with your insurance. All you have to do is click on qualify through insurance. You provide your state and the insurance company. So let's say I am in Michigan and my insurance is Blue Cross Blue Shield, I believe. And I would hit continue, it gives me a specific plan and insurance ID, and you would go from there and see which pumps are covered. So let's talk about the price. I'm going to go off of the actual website for the price of both of these pumps, okay? And I also have my notes, so I'm going to be looking down everywhere. So the Willow Go is $329 flat from the Willow website. The LV Stride is $269 for just the Stride, or you can get the Stride Plus that comes with a lot of additions. So in the box of the Willow Go, we have two pumps, two flanges that are 21 millimeter, two flanges that are 24 millimeter, two container bowls with five ounces, the container backs, the pump diaphragms, the duct bill, and the USB charging cables. The LV Stride comes with one hub, two cup fronts, two cup seals, two breast shields, 24 millimeter, Two caps, one tube splitter, two short tubes, one long tube, one clip cover, two valves, two diaphragms, and one charging cable, and the instructions, of course. Let's talk about warranty. Willow offers a one-year warranty on their pumps, and LV offers a two-year warranty on their pump. So the Willow Go lasts for about three to four pump sessions, and it charges in about two hours, depending on how much you use it. Um, the LV Stride will last for five pump sessions. They give you three hours of pump life, and it takes two hours to charge. For the Willow Go, you can get your parts from the Willow website, Bye Bye Baby. You can also get them from Target. The parts like the membranes and the duck bill should be replaced every three months. For the LB Stride, you can get the parts from the LB website, Target, Bye Bye Baby, but they're kind of hard to find right now because of back order. Um, and LB also replace, recommends replacing your parts every three months as well. Let's talk about how to put the pumps together and what they look like on. So this is the Willow Go. This is a seven ounce container. So this is the pump itself to the Willow Go. This part goes right in here. It's pretty simple, it shows you where to go. The container actually comes apart. This duck bill gets placed on top. And you push the white part into the container. It doesn't make a clicking noise, so you just have to feel around to make sure it's in there. Then you put the container onto the pump, then you put the flange inside. Now for the LV Stride, this is the actual pump. It comes with a clip that you can put on your belt. It has a, the port right here for the tubing, and it has a charger right there. This is what the containers look like. Okay, so you have this part, you have the little duck bill. It goes right in the bottom. It's a little awkward to put in, but it's okay. You have this part that goes around the center. It's not the easiest to secure, but once it's on there, it's on there. And then you have the container that fills with milk. You slide it right on top, and it has a little arrow that you can line up at the top to know if you're at the right position or not. And that is it. So you have these little clips, and they connect to, you can control where you put the tubing. If you want to have it going up the top, going on the bottom, the sides, whatever you want, you can control it with the LV Stride, which is pretty cool since it does have tubes. Okay, so let's talk about what they look like on. On this side, I have the Willow Go, and this is the five ounce container. Willow Go, LV Stride, and I have the little hub in my hand. 
Um, I'm a pretty small woman. I'm five foot, 126 pounds. LB stride. Will it go? Of course, I'd be a little more bustier as well if I had the seven ounce container on. All right, next on my list is to talk about the app. So there are apps for both of these pumps. Willow Go has its own separate app. For the LV Stride, you're going to use the same app as a traditional LV pump. Uh, I'm gonna insert a screen roll of the Willow Go first because I just pumped with that one for my lunchtime pump. So on the Willow Go, so when you open the Willow Go app, it, look, it will look like this. It will have a home button, a help, and settings. That's it. Um, so when you actually start pumping, I'll insert it here. What you'll, when you actually start pumping, what you'll see in the Willow Go app is at the top, it will have um, the time, how much time you've been pumping. It'll have two batteries for the left and the right. You're able to go from expression to stimulation mode only on the pump. You can't do it on the app, but you can do it on the pump. And you can track um, if the app, you can track what level the pump is on. You cannot count the ounces in the pump though. And you cannot set a timer in the pump and you cannot control the pump from the app. As I say her name. I don't think she's going to go back to sleep. We might have to finish. I think we're just going to be to be continued until tonight. So this lighting and this is going to change. The setup might change because life, you know, mom life. All right, I'm going to go get her and talk to y'all. All right, hey y'all. So I'm sitting in front of a window. There's a lot of like weird looking light, but... The kid just went to bed, so we're gonna try to finish this video, okay? So we were on app and capability, I believe. So I'm going into the LV Stride app, and this is what it looks like. It's the same app, um, it's called Pump with LV. I'm gonna turn on my stride and start a session. And already you can see it's connected. Um, it goes through stimulation, there's a level six. It goes up to level 10 in stimulation mode. You can switch it in the app to expression mode once you feel like you have a letdown. Or well, I think it might switch by itself if you don't switch it as, as well. This goes up to level 10 as well. Um, you can set a timer so you can be reminded when to stop. So when you finish the session you can hit yes and then you can track your ounces, like however much you got. I didn't pump anything, so I'll just hit save anyway. And then you can track your sessions. The app. Now let's do noise comparison. So I'm going to turn both pumps on and I'm going to go to their average setting, like how you would first turn them on. So I got the other Willow. So that's what it sounds like. They're both in, they're both in stimulation mode. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna switch them to expression mode. I'm gonna turn them both up to their max setting. So let's talk, girl to girl, all right? Let's talk about the LV Stride, pros and cons. So the pro of the LV Stride that I wrote down, that it's easy to pour milk out of the Stride. Like gripping the Stride and pouring milk out, it, all you have to do when you pour milk out of the Stride is you can open this up right here and just pour it out. It's like how they designed this is really easy to get every last drop out. There is sometimes stuff collects in this green area, in this green membrane stuff. So sometimes you have to be a little careful when you're pouring it out because milk could come out of here. So just look and see if there's milk in there first before um, tipping it over. I really like the app. I really like the LV Stride app. Like you can track your ounces, you can control the pumps. You don't have to touch it. Like you don't have to look into your shirt or look up on your side. It's just really convenient. I also like that has a little clip. I think it's cute. Oh, it's also easy to learn. There's not much to um, figure out about this pump. It's, it's a little funky to put together when you first look at it, but after you learn how, it's pretty simple. It even has little lines in here that you can use to help align your nipple correctly. So that helps with putting it on. So another pro about the LV Stride is how it sounds, like the material it's made of. Like this feels sturdy. Ooh. Like this feels sturdy. Like this isn't flimsy. It's not gonna bend. 
Like I feel like my milk is protected when it's in the LV Stride cups. Like definitely, definitely. And like it just suctions so well together that you know it's closed, you know? All right, so let's talk about the cons of the LV Stride. The first con is for me, the biggest con is that it does not give me the same output as other pumps. And I'm someone who track, I know it sounds crazy, but I track my ounces only because I pump three times a day. And I kind of track it like in my head. I know how much I usually pump. So the LV Stride does not empty me the same way other pumps do. And I get usually one to three ounces less than I would normally get from other pumps. And that bothers me because as you know with breastfeeding, it's supply and demand. If you are not telling your body to make this milk by removing it, it's not going to make any more milk. So it's just going to get reabsorbed into your body and then that could end up decreasing your supply over time. I did not want that. So for me, that was the biggest con. Um, also the tubing. You have to have tubes connected to you. It's not that bad because you can put the tubes in your shirt and you can position them any way you want to, but if you were someone that wanted to be completely hands-free, then tubing, it would be an issue. I feel a little self-conscious of the tubing because I walk around pretty fast when I'm trying to chase my toddler or get things done. So I found that the um, that the tubing would hook onto things and then it would just kind of catch me off guard because I wasn't used to wearing tubing. Another con is it only has five ounce containers. Um, I am someone that produces a lot of milk in my right breast. So for me also, it was negative that it's only five ounces. So if the pump was emptying me the way it should, I can fill a five ounce container at least one time in my morning pump session. So that means I have to stop, take it off, pour it out and things like that. And that's just inconvenient when I could just keep it on the entire time and it was larger. Also, it doesn't shut off when it's full. If you're someone who does pump a lot of milk, and this container is filled all the way to the top, it does not shut off when the milk is all the way up there. So you could spill milk. It's not a lot because the little hole that comes out is really small. Now, let's talk about the Willow Go. Pros and cons, let's, let's, get, let's get some water first because we know hydration is important, right? Let's talk about the pros first. First pro is completely hands-free, all right? Put them into your bra. As long as your bra is good and supportive, they are not going anywhere. You can pick up the kids, well, you can do some laundry. You can do whatever you need to do with this pump on. Put a little star there, okay? Put a star because we're gonna come back to that point. Like, that's the biggest thing. That's a really big pro though. It's completely hands-free. You can move around with it. So another pro is that you have different size cups. Like I said, I'm someone that pumps a lot on one, of, on one of my breasts. And it really helps that I can have seven ounces in this container. I also like that I can have different motors. Like with the OB Stride, both cups do the same thing at the same time. With the Willow Go, if I want my left one to have a little bit higher of suction, and I want my right one to say be at a four, and my left to be at a five, I could do that with the Willow Go. Could not do that with the LV Stride, so. Another pro is my output. I get pretty decent output. I, essentially, I am happy with the output of the Willow Go. It doesn't empty me like a Spectra does. I feel like it's really efficient for maintaining a supply, but it's definitely not a pump, either one of these pumps, definitely not pumps that you should start with in your pumping journey. So now that we talked about how great it is, let's talk about the cons because the cons, there are some cons. The first con that I would say is the fact that what you pour the milk out of is so big and there's no way you can close it. If you cover it up with something, that then it will not, um, it won't work. So I'm gonna show you how big this milk hole is. Like, my finger can get in here. And I have small hands, just to let you know, but my finger can get in this milk hole. Okay, we are really, we are really losing sun here, so I'm gonna And I'm actually really glad that this shirt lasted all day because you know, as mom's dog, uh, dogs, kids spit up on our shirt and whatnot. I was wearing the Willow Go and I was pumping and some of the milk splashed out of the hole because I was moving around. I think I actually bent down to do something with my toddler and the milk spilled. So I wanted to see if you could see it on my shirt. But if you can see it right there and right there, milk wasted on my shirt when I was pumping with the Willow Go. So if you were doing something where you did not want milk stains on your clothes, it can be really frustrating to have milk stains on your clothes, you know? Con number two is this is not a cheap pump. And like this is probably the thickest, best feeling material of this pump besides the pump itself. This material that the milk's supposed to hold in is really flimsy, like look at this. I don't know, it just feels cheaper than the LV Stride. I wouldn't expect this cheap of a plastic. And when you're putting the container together, it's like, you don't know if you put it on tight enough because there's no lock sound. There's no like real big suction difference. Like even now as I'm doing this, I'm trying to put it on and 
See, look, I put it on, but there's no there's no sound because the first few times I used this, um, I did not put it on correctly, and of course, milk spilled all out the bottom. So another con is that it does not shut off when the container is full. Say you're someone who fills a five ounce or seven ounce container, this contain this pump will not stop working when you have milk all the way in the container. So the last con to the Willow Go, and probably the biggest con to the Willow Go, is the fact that this little blue piece in there will slip if it's too moist which is like, wait, Deidre, too moist, isn't it in milk? Exactly. This container fills up with milk or at least fills to some point of this duck bill with milk or if you don't, that's okay. You're still amazing and you're still doing a great job. But if you get any type of moisture underneath this blue duck bill, if it doesn't press down against this white part, the pump will not work. So you see how it's lifted a little bit right here? If this happens when you're pumping, you have to pour all that milk out try to dry this off and then put this back on there. And then it, if it doesn't stay down there, it's not gonna work. Like I'm gonna push it down now and it's probably gonna stay because it's dry because I haven't pumped with this one. And imagine if you're out and about somewhere, you're trying to go about your day and all you have is the willow go and you're away from your baby and you're trying to pump multiple times a day. Are you gonna stop to clean this every single time and let it dry? Are you gonna rinse it and let it dry? What if you're in somewhere you can't? What if you're in a situation where you don't feel like you wanna touch your milk? It's just like, there's too many things that could go against wearing this outside of the house. Like for me, I wear it in the house so I can dry it off, let it dry, come back to it in 20 minutes and it's fine. But if you don't have that ability, like a working mom, I, I don't know, I don't know. And then, because that moisture is a thing, because if it gets too wet, it doesn't work, you cannot do the fridge hack very well. I've probably done the fridge hack twice with a set of containers. Like, pump once, put it in the fridge, pump again, that's it. I can't go past two times. So if you're away from your baby for like a 12 hour shift, if you were a nurse or a firefighter or something that requires a lot of time away from your baby, you would need multiple sets of containers because you couldn't keep using the same ones over and over unless you wiped it down, let it dry, and then went about your day. That, that is a big con to me because well, who has time to wash things between every use? Like most people, most moms I know, do the same pump parts throughout the day, wash them when they get home. We don't have time to wash during the day when they're out working. When I was a teacher, I did not have time for that. I was pumping, putting them in the fridge, going about my day, okay? Those were the cons of the Willow Go. Thanks for hanging out with me and talking about the LV Stride and the Willow Go. I really enjoy talking about breast pumps. Like if you're a pumping mom, have you ever DM me on Instagram? I have probably chatted with you about breast pumps because I love, I just love talking about them. So I hope this was helpful. If you were trying to decide between the Willow Go and the LV Stride, I hope this helped you make your decision. Until next time, bye.